Okay, now let's create that uh, authentication system. Yeah. So if we go to the documentation, Laravel documentation, if we go to the security authentication here, we have all necessary to create that. So in order to create the authentication system in Laravel, it's just simple running those two commands in the, in the command shell and uh, this will be created automatically so we don't have to do anything I mean we need to connect to the database but uh, um, um, I will show you how to do it in the file first and later on we're gonna create the database connection as well uh, I just want to mention because this is six point um, uh, the, the version but if you are in the lower version this is different so you just have to run this PHP artisan make out command yeah so if we go to uh, the, the project here and I open a terminal um, if I type here I will show you later on what PHP artisan is as I said uh, in previous videos this is a command shell uh, tool which helps you create a lot of cool stuff so if I do PHP artisan this will give me a list of all the commands we can use uh, from artisan yeah and one of the commands um, in, in this uh, artisan was to create the authentication yeah so if we search for the out it's somewhere somewhere here now before we had the command as I show you this command we had it make out but in in earliest version yeah, and in previous version but now you don't have it here so that's why I'm trying to um, let you know about this because uh, um, you know this uh, have been changed with the uh, version 6 yeah so now we need just to run these commands okay so let's let's run this the first command uh, I'm gonna copy that and um, I will uh, clear this shell and I will uh, paste that command okay so now if I click on here let me first open the um, public no public sorry uh, I need to open up HTTP controllers and uh, let me open the resources view as well so you're gonna see here something will be added to those folders here yeah? because this is uh, generating some extra files will generate a controller as well so we need to make uh, be aware of this yeah so let's run this first okay so now once this is done we're gonna need to uh, run the other command which is this one and this second command what we'll do will uh, create some extra files um, in the views in the resources view and uh, we're gonna have the controller home yeah so let me paste that press enter and uh, we'll create the controller but as well we'll create the layout folder and we'll try to, uh, it will try to create a app.plate.php which will be the uh, you know for the the template uh, he will need to use okay let me wait for this okay so now this message says the home blade php view are already exist yeah so it's asking me if I want to replace it well uh, I will uh, like to replace it but I want to keep the the thing I uh, all I've created until now so I will um, I will just copy this yeah I just to copy and uh, I will paste paste it again right so this will be a copy just to keep all the, the things I've done until now so I will do paste and this will be a copy yeah? because this this one will be overwrite over overwrite it but I will uh, have a, that, that copy which I'm gonna you know uh, put all my work I've done before right so because this will add uh, the default design on the fr uh, on the home page which uh, uh, I will have to change after okay so let me uh, press yes um, and um, and press enter so type yes uh, uh, y and press enter and uh, 
as well it's asking me for the layout up blade which is the same so we have done this already but we have had already the, our design so we don't want to lose it and uh, we have to keep the, the, the ones we got so let me just copy again this one copy and paste it in the same folder using the paste so now as you can see I have two layouts here up blade copy up blade but this will be overwritten as well because this uh, when you create the authentication um, will be override uh, if you if you already exist will uh, override those ones if not will be created from scratch okay okay so now if I press Y type Y and press enter this is already created now right so uh, what do I have to do now if I go to the browser and go to the project now if I refresh the page or click on home uh, the style well I don't have the the WAMP started let me start the WAMP server uh, this page is sending me to the login page yeah but let me just go to the code editor as you can see here um, I got already the home controller created yeah and um, I have as well um, which uh, this this uh, this uh, file which is created by the if I open this let me just shrink this make this uh, smaller so this is the layout which has been created by default like I mean uh, when we create in the authentication we create authentication uh, through the command okay so if I go to this controller I will command this because this is coming um, uh, with this uh, middleware which later on we're gonna understand we're gonna learn about this this is uh, filtering the the users who uh, can access this controller with his actions his, his views okay so I'm just let me comment this at the moment and this will allow every user to access the home page so if I go here and uh, type home here yeah dashboard you are logging in okay so now there is nothing here there is no design there so there is uh, we have lost the, our design but at least we have the login and register button which sends us to the pages to log in and register okay but we're gonna fix this don't worry this is done a mess now but we're gonna miss it yeah uh, we're gonna sorry we're gonna fix it okay so how to f we, we can fix that we remember we have saved our design right so we have the the layout and let's do the layout first if I let me just close everything and uh, let's open those two up blade copy and up blade so if I put this in in, uh, in two rows in two columns sorry and close this now I have uh, I am uh, able to see both of them so the the right one yeah, this is the one who have been created by the authentication system and this one is mine so let's start modifying and add just copy all this uh, to our layout right so I will copy this for the language and the because this will bring uh, the dynamic di dynamically yeah will be created dynamically so which is is cool okay uh, another thing we need to copy we can copy this which is this is for forms yeah and later on we will see this as well what this means so let me just uh, copy and paste it let me see uh, just put it here yeah and um, let's take the title as well so you just can start and, and and just copy all this stuff and then just put it on the place right so I'll do it um, as well so now we have uh, this vendor it's a uh, it's okay so this is it's good you know the, the style vendor we have the assets like this one here do you see is uh, we have two ways with very uh, how we can use the you know import the CSS uh, if we do a slash the the slash uh, will understand because uh, he needs to look in the public folder as well this function asset so we can use this one like this yeah and it will be the same so let, 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 let me put this as it is here and uh, just copy 
and paste that actually will be we need to keep the um, we keep, we need to keep this yeah okay so now it's done and uh, let's go down and see this is the header uh, this is the this is the logo yeah so let's let's copy this for the for the link right for the URL link and if we go here we have uh, this uh, static yeah? index.html which is not good so let's add our di dynamic link okay and the title as well let's copy this and uh, just change it with uh, with with this start bootstrap which we don't want to keep this okay so now paste it and um, we are see we are viewing this white because this file is not a blade we have the copy here and this is not recognized as a blade yeah so we need to when we're going to swap this for this we're going to change the copy and this will th this um, syntax is these tags will be uh, with the right color yeah so now if we get that if, if we go scroll down you can see we have um we have here we have the login yeah authentication links yeah so we what we need to do after the contact link of the page we need to add this uh, authentication link so i'm gonna copy all all this yeah until here and guest i will copy that and i will paste it paste it after this last li uh, list yeah and um, let me arrange this a little bit and I need to make sure this has the same class. So nav item is the same as this. So this should work. Okay. And um, we have the yield contact content here as is uh, as this is the same. Yeah. So now we have everything ready to use our layout. Yeah. We have changed everything. And uh, we're going to swap this. We're going to swap this with this one. Yeah. So let's swap, let's change the names now. Okay, so if we go here, um, I'm gonna rename this one, rename, and just put some old, for example, and now rename this copy, just delete the copy, right? So delete the copy, and now we're gonna have the correct layout, right? So now, if um, I close this and go to the browser, let me just go to the browser and if I go to home, home, I should be able to see, let me see, up blade. Okay, so let me see what is going on here. Unexpected up. Okay. Okay, let me see what's going on. So here I think I missed this. Okay, so now should be fine if I refresh this. Uh, we have the home, yeah, but we need to add our content um, and uh, our template, yeah. So now, if we go to the home, we need to swap this one for this one as well. So let me close all of this and open this home and other home which is this one and let me put it in second column and just close this and let's see okay so now let me just see if we can or we have to change anything we don't have to change anything we just have to swap them okay so let me swap them let me just close those open this and um, I will have to go here and home and um, rename the this one um, with let's say blade I will put old here and um, I will delete the the, uh, the front here okay so blade okay so now now let's see if we go and, and refresh this now as you can see everything is working as should work so we have the login which sends us to login we have the register contact about home 
okay so now if we want to log in we need to register first but if we want to register if we try to register for example it will say something about the database connection there is no database Laravel okay so let's do that in the next video tutorial if you like this video please give a like and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to our channel